bring up Government Exhibit 85B, please? This photo is already in evidence. Do you recognize what it is? Yes, sir. Is this the house which you pulled up that day? Yes, sir. Roughly is the area where you were pulling up shown in this photograph? Maybe some of it, because it was kind of just like up in that area. Can you touch your screen there to put a little yellow mark? This area back up in here. So you're pulling off there back before you get to the house a little bit? Yeah. All right. And where is your... Is your attention directed at the door of the house when you pull up? Or does something happen that draws your attention? Excuse me? Where is your attention focused as you're pulling up? Oh. At the time, it was on driving. But as we were pulling up and see the situation taking place, I mean, my attention was there and then getting out of there. So, you said, what do you see when you pulled up? I just seen a guy shooting another guy. Where was the person who got shot? Kind of like on the steps. Did you see that person's face? No, kind of like the backside of him. Do you know who it was? No. Where was the person that was doing the shooting? At the bottom of the steps. Did you see the shooter's face? Yes, sir. Was it a man or a woman? It was a man. African American or white? Black. Black? What kind of bill? Well, at that time, he was thicker than I was. At that time, I was like 160 pounds, so he was pretty built. Thicker than me, yeah. Any facial hair? Yeah, facial hair. What kind of haircut? Maybe a low cut or bald. All right. How far would you estimate? How far away would you estimate that you were? I would say maybe about 20, 30 feet. How long did the shooting last? It was transpiring when we pulled up, and I pulled off. So I would say maybe about a minute or two. When you saw the shooter, did you recognize him? I ain't going to say offhand I did. But it's like just a face that looked familiar. I've seen him before. So what did you do after the shooting was over? I got out of there, pulled off. What type of state were you in as you're pulling away? Well, I was kind of shook by it because that... Actually, I was home on parole for the same type of crime, and I ain't want to get caught around there. So I know what it kind of looked like with me pulling up there, being around something going on like that. All it takes is somebody to say, you know, witness my vehicle pull away from a scene like that. I'm already, I'm coming home from prison for something like that. So you worried about getting caught up in this? Yeah. What is Mr. Skinner doing at this point, as you're pulling away, basically? Oh, he's just ranting, just hysterical, kind of like speaking on how the dude named Telly was tripping and stuff like that. I'm sorry, what was he saying? He was like ranting, you know, kind of hysterical, like just ranting about how the dude Telly was tripping and he was tripping and, you know. He specifically said the name Telly? Yeah. Did the name Telly have any significance to you? Yeah, when, actually, I kind of, when I see the face, I mean, I just couldn't remember. But by him speaking the name, that kind of like made me know like, okay, that's that dude there. All right, let's unpack that. Why is the, why was the name Telly significant to you? I had actually ran across him before through another friend of mine buying a pistol. When did that happen? I'm not sure. Maybe. I'm not sure how long ago before this situation. But it was like, I would say, maybe anywhere from six months to a year ago. A year prior, I guess. All right. And you said you were buying a pistol? Yeah, I bought a pistol. How did that come about? I was down. I was down there at the time. And down where? In New Orleans. And I ended up calling one of my other partners, a guy by the name of Whiskey. Hit him up and stuff. 
and we just hung out and stuff like that before and before we separated or whatever. I was like, man, I'm trying to snatch me a pistol or something. Why do you want a gun? Well, that's the type of life I was into, so I just needed some heat. So, how did it... Can you explain the details of the purchase of the gun? Where you went? Where the purchase happened? Who was there? Well, I was off a kerosene by a female friend of mine, and that's actually where it took place, at some apartments and stuff. You have to speak up, sir. It actually took place off a kerosene at some apartments. Okay. Inside the apartments or outside the apartments? Outside in the parking lot. So you're in a parking lot of apartments? Yes, sir. What vehicle are you? Are you in your vehicle or someone else's vehicle? I was in mine. Are you driving? Yes, sir. Who was in your car? Well, Whiskey was sitting in with me. Whiskey is the friend who arranged the transaction? Yeah. Where is Telly? He was like some cars down in a parking lot. So how does the transaction go down? Well, Whiskey got out and went talk with him. They was talking and kicking it, whatever, and he handled the situation. Did you stay in the car the entire time? No, I got out. I was in at first, but I ended up getting out. I mean, I was able to see him. Did you go down and get into whatever car Telly was in? No. So how close did you get to Telly, do you think? It wasn't real close. I mean, it was just like, he was like some cars down. So it was like maybe about 20 feet, 30 feet, something like that. So you guys didn't shake hands. There were no like formal introduction. No, no formal introduction or anything. All right. And what kind of gun did you get? It was a nine. How much did you pay for it? A hundred dollars. After that time, you purchased the gun. When was the next time you saw Telly Hankton? The night of the shooting. All right. And since the night of the shooting, have you had any interaction with Telly Hankton? No. So did you and Mr. Skinner continue to be friends after this shooting? Yeah. What time did you say you went to jail? 2007. You were in jail until after that? How long were you in jail after 2007? Until about two, three months ago. How did it come about that you came forward with the information about the murder that you testified to? Well, I was implicated. Implicated as a connotation that you're involved? Yeah, somebody, well... My name was brought up because I was with Isaac. You were with Isaac when? When the circumstances took place. So he, like whenever he talked to, whoever he talked to, you know, I was notified. So where are you when this is taking place? Where are you when you provide the, first provide the information about the murder? I was in Oakdale. Where is Mr. Skinner? He was at Oakdale. Had you guys talked before Mr. Skinner notified the authorities that he had this information about providing information? Not at all. Were you interested at that point in cooperating and trying to get your time reduced further? No. Why were you not interested in that? Because it was useless. I mean, I was about to go home anyway, so I didn't. I didn't want to deal with that. I was about to go home. So if you didn't want to cooperate, how was it that you're here today on the stand? Well, I mean, because I started my situation cooperating and it was part of my, it's part of my obligations. So you feel by coming here today, you are honoring the plea agreement that you signed to cooperate with the government? Yes, sir. Even though at this point, there's really no further benefit you can receive because you are already out of jail, is that right? That's right. Now, when the agents and the prosecutors came to speak to you at the prison, what did you tell them? I didn't really. I kind of told them I didn't really want to be a part of it. And, like, I just wanted to tell my side of the story and just, like, leave it be. Did you tell them roughly what you testified about here today? Yes, sir. 
Do you recall him showing you a book of photos? Yes, sir. Were you able to identify anyone in that book? No, sir. Familiar faces, but I couldn't actually see. At that point, how long had it been since you had saw the shooting? I really don't remember when it was they came. It's been some years. Did they tell you that the person who was involved in the shooting's picture was in that book or anything like that? No, they never told me that. What did they tell you when you flipped through the book? Just go through it and just see if there's anybody that I know. I'll pass the witness at this point. Who's next? Miss Sneed? Miss Ratner? Thank you, Judge.